live in a dry forest frequent fire system. Wildfire is a natural disturbance agent and a natural visitor to these ecosystems from lightning strikes in the summer and indigenous people burned here for eons. Uh, with fire suppression, it's been taken out of the ecosystem and we're seeing the effects. Fires shape these landscapes, these ecosystems, influenced the vegetation, the biodiversity, uh, and at the same time, they can also threaten our human communities. July 15th, 2018, we had a huge uh, thunder and lightning storm roll through the valley. It ignited fires all throughout Southern Oregon. This was one that could have been pretty bad going up the hillside, two miles from the heart of downtown Talent and probably four miles from Ashland. I'm taking video of the lightning as it's rolling over and it's so close, it's banging everywhere. And there was one that, that hit, I was like, I smell smoke. And I ran up here and saw the base of the tree on fire. It happened so quick, um, it started to catch the grass right here. I had the flames out before the fire department got here. Before Lomakatsi came out here, this was all overgrown with brush. It was impassable, and if they hadn't come out, there was no way that I would even be able to get up here to put the fire out. They went around and cut the limbs and did a lot of brush clearing. Burned most of the piles and actually made a couple of animal dens. Lomikazi hadn't come out and done the brush clearing, they probably would have caught way quicker. Fuels treatments are really important around people's homes and in the wildland urban interface because it gives firefighters an opportunity to safely attack a fire before it grows into a larger fire. In the Chiloquin area, working with the community, able to come in and reduce fuels and set the stage for prescribed fire. 2012, started working with Lomakachi out here. We came out and we did wit falling, opening up the forest even more, clearing it so that the trees have a chance to grow better. We did this part up here. This part was untreated and a fire came through and I think it was 2012. Down here it stayed on the ground. It didn't crown, it didn't creep up into the trees. Oh, those are good, good pine out there that are dead now. Compared to if this wasn't treated, that would have been all gone. All those trees would have been gone because it just would have ran. You can see it was crowning, then it started dropping because there's no ladder fields for it to go up into the crown and run with. That's a lot of our effort in dry forest ecosystem restoration. Getting the forest ready from 100 years of fire exclusion thinning these ingrown, dense forests in an ecological fashion, keeping the large old trees, keeping structural diversity, and getting the forest ready, setting the stage for the careful application of good fire on the ground. We used to have bigger pine, and you know our objective is to try to make our forest healthy and bring back the pine how it used to be. Living in the fire adapted ecosystem, it's not if fire will come, it's when. How do we live within this fire environment and become responsible ecological stewards? So as we heal these forests, as we heal these woodlands, these different ecosystems we work in, these fire adapted systems, we also heal communities. By doing these treatments ahead of time, we can not only reestablish ecological resiliency, but provide for a high degree of community safety. In the work of Lomakatsi, we're restoring ecosystems, we're restoring forests, but we're also sustaining communities.